What's going guys, Spring Green here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the vaults that you get in the contracts, the new contract system, and talking about if they're good and uh, if they're bad, how can they be improved. Now, before I begin, I just want to say if you're new around here, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more daily Black Ops 3 content. And you might have noticed I'm not uploading every single day now because uh, I just don't want to force a video out. Because uh, let's say I don't have a video idea or I don't have a video made for that the day then I'd, I, I'll have to force it out which I don't like doing because then the video turns out to be bad so I'm just trying to make it so it's at least four videos a week or three videos a week so right now I'm just doing videos every other day or if I can do every every day with you know a good video then I'll do that but anyway let's get into this video now Black Ops 3 recently introduced a new contract system which was to basically reward people with crypto keys and calling cards and blackjack now daily contracts give you 10 crypto keys and the contracts are basically get 5 headshots well uh, to last last one was 5 headshots, 5 kills, 3 kills and stuff like that so the daily contracts I feel like they're okay but the challenge needs to be a bit hard you know because I, if I want to go for it I really want to go and grind out for it instead of getting oh get 5 kills with the kill streak so I, I get it it's for people who are who aren't really good at the game who can't really win at the game so they're trying to award people uh, reward people for those people reward people who are doing bad but they still need to reward people who are doing good you know they, they have to cover both sides of the story instead of covering one side so uh, the daily contract five, get five kills week, five kills with the score the score streak that was way too easy i got it in like one game and uh, i was like what should i do now i i rather ha i rather do something that's more challenging or if if they want they can do it like you know make these easy challenges like an hour or you know every hour you get different challenges and you get like less crypto keys let's just say that but those challenges are right like, really easy so good players can do it and just keep doing different challenges and keep ranking up instead of you know staying back with the bad players who can't really do it i, I hope you guys know what i mean and then the weekly challenges they are okay the score and the kills uh, sorry the wins they are okay but they still need to you know, um, reward people with more stuff instead of giving them 10 crypto keys and a mercenary, mercenary contract for the blackjack thing. So, you know, they can really, no, 30 crypto keys and that. Uh, so, they can really increase that because it's a week. And uh, to, to finish that contract, you basically, by the time you finish that contract, you, you'll earn a lot of uh, crypto keys yourself. So, there's no really a point of going out and getting 30 crypto keys when you can just play normally and get all them crypto keys back anyway. So yeah, and then the call and then the calling cards they give. Um, no one really likes them. No one really like uses them because uh, it's, it doesn't help you in the game. Why would you want to like? It's it's just just useless. You can say just like the camos are, but obviously you can see them in the game. They basically they look nice on your gun, so you can say that they're kind of bad it out. But uh, the calling cards they're just really crap, and most of them not even animated. So that's what really puts people off. That's what really puts me off. Because they're not caught, they're not animated, they're not cool enough. So I'll just rock the old ones that are animated, like the master calling card that look really cool. Because simply because it's animated, so yeah, that's another reason. Also, blackjack. Uh, I don't really know the side bet or the blackjack contracts, but uh, they only give you calling cards, which is a bit bad as well. Because let's say you got 60 minutes to play with that thing, and you need to get like, like you need to complete the challenges for that uh, blackjack as well, and you're just there like. Okay, I need to get it. This is my last game, and if I don't, if I don't get it, I won't be able to get that calling card. You know, it doesn't really make sense. Make sense. You get 10 crypto keys from the daily one, 30 from the uh, weekly one, and then you should get at least at least 60. The least they can do is do 60 or 50, something like that, to reward you in, and uh, to basically so you can complete the challenge instead of just sitting there. And uh, oh yeah, I'm definitely doing this blackjack challenge to get a cool looking. Or just to get a crappy looking calling card you know it doesn't really make make it out it's not really fair on people doing it i still haven't used my blackjack because you know it's not really that overpowered it's except the gambler i still need to use it I, it turns up very quick but currently i'm trying to get hero armor so hopefully that goes well now guys hopefully you have enjoyed comment down below you think of this do you, do you think it's fair for them to include all of this in the game and not reward you so you know which side are you on and do you think um just tell me what you think of this situation down in the comment section. Like, do, do, subscribe. Peace.